What is going on? Well today, trying to drop a tree. We're gonna try to hit between them two boxes. Obviously not this massive tree here because she's alive and we're not dropping a live tree. We're just doing a dead tree for firewood. My brother cuts a lot of firewood. I do too, but he says his skills are good enough to drop this last one I picked. It's a, it's a pretty tight gap to drop between, but he says he can do it. So we'll see what happens. We'll see how good his skills really are. Well, walking around trying to find a tree to drop between these two boxes, and I uh, found this one. About a foot in diameter at the bottom, maple tree, 50, 50 or so feet tall. Not real big, not a hard tree to drop, but there's a nice area around the horseshoe and the creek that I could drop it, put the two boxes. So, uh, if I find an easier tree like this one to drop, and if I choose this tree to do it with, I'm going to have the boxes closer together, or a bigger, harder tree. I'm going to have them a little space to park, give me a little wiggle room, but we'll see. I'm going to look for some more trees, and we'll see which one will be the winner. Well, I found this guy. It's about 20 inches at the base, maybe more. And you see she is tall. It's a dead ash. They're all dying around here. Pennsylvania, all over the country. But the problem is, this tree's leaning that way a little bit. And I want to drop her that way. Because this little tree's dead, I could take it out. And then drop it pretty much that way, towards like that target I got over there. That way. So it's leaning the wrong way, but my brother's pretty good with his uh, wedge blocks. And he'll be dropping it. So, I don't know if he wants to do this one, maybe we'll do it. If not, save it for another time. But definitely a big tree would make a pretty good challenge. Well, we're gonna go to this maple, about a foot in diameter, 50 footer. The ones up above, there was too much stuff entangled around them, too many other trees. So we got the boxes about eight feet apart, about 25 feet from the base. We'll see if Luke's skills are good enough to drop it there. What I got here is I've kind of marked it out, you can't see it too well. But this is going to be my front notch I take out. There's around here and right here. And there's going to be a hinge right here. This is the part I'm not going to cut, which is going to kind of steer the direction of which is going to fall. And this is my back cut. Need be, this tree is leaning a little bit. You might have to wedge these typically. But I don't know what's going to happen with this tree. It already has a little bit of a lean on it. So we'll see what happens. Not bad, not bad. That'll do, thread of the gap. All right, now the tree's cut down, I'm gonna show you what kind of went on here. This here was that wedge I was talking about at the beginning, you know, where I cut down like this, cut in, and this right here should be perpendicular with where you wanna aim the tree. Then this right here, you can see, is the hinge. This is supposed to stay there and kind of steers your direction so it don't fall that way. And lastly, this is your back cut. As you can see, she was a little hollow, but... Another thing to consider when cutting down a tree is most people don't know this, but saws, all the big ones, at least steel and husky, have aiming points, which is right here, on the side, on the top here, and down the other side. So keep that in mind when felling a tree. Well, guys, as you see, Luke hit the gap. Not a really hard tree, but hey, still a decent-sized tree to drop. But if you want to see a harder tree and a bigger one dropped between two things, we will do it. And as always, like and subscribe. We appreciate it. We'll see you next time.